Sarah Morton's Day. November 12, 1627. Good day. My name is Sarah Morton. My family sailed to America four years ago on a ship. We came to seek freedom from the Church of England. First, my said family settled in Holland, where I was born. Life in Holland was hard for us, so we set sail for the New World. My father died that first winter. This spring, Mother married Goodman Kempton. I am learning to call him father, and am trying hard to earn his love. Come thee with me. Let me show thee how my days are. This is my village. It's called Plymouth Plantation. At sunup, when the crows crow, I must get up and do my chores. I put on my outfit and roll my bed into the corner. So that's all the steps she had to take to put on her clothes in the morning. <clears throat> the fire is mine to tend. I throw bush on the red coals, brush on the red coals to make them dance. Mother and I make the hasty pudding. I lay the table with clean clothes, clean cloths, bowls, and spoons. I serve mother and my new father first. I must stand at my place to eat. My new father will make a stool for me. When, with the table scraps I have collected, I go out to feed the chickens. Because I have forgotten to latch the pen, I must run our hens a game of chase. I know some of our friends have chickens at their house. At milking time, I find my best friend Elizabeth at the pen. As we milk, we tell each other secrets. Today I tell her of a dream about my real father. I miss him often, but I do not have... I do not speak of him to anyone except Elizabeth. I do not wish to seem ungrateful for my new dad. Elizabeth likes to remember the time before she came here to the New World. She tells me of shops in England full of colored ribbons and affairs with women dancing. After milking, I muck the garden to make it rich for planting next spring. The muck is heavy and I must often stop to rest. Hurry along, Sarah, mother calls from the door. Oh, Mary, I am caught idle again. I am to pound spices this day. Our house will have a pleasing scent. The thump thump of mother's churning keeps me company. I wish I could tell mother about my dream, but she is quiet today, and I have often enough gotten the rod for speaking out of turn. Next, mother and I prepare the midday meal, Indian cornbread. When my father comes home for dinner, he seems pleased with the rich ported porridge and warm Indian cornbread that we have made. After dinner, it's time for my favorite task. I draw vinegar to polish the brass. If I am patient and rub the salt and vinegar slowly, the kettle will truly shine. Uh, all of a sudden, I hear a warning shot from the meeting house on the hill. It means a ship has been sighted. We will have some visitors on tomorrow's tide. I pray that they won't be people who wish us harm. Mother says I may fetch Elizabeth. We run to the top of the hill to see the ship, but it is still a tiny speck at sea. I dare not wait to see more. It is time for my lessons. My new father thinks I show a talent for learning. I am grateful, for in many families, girls are not spared from their chores for lessons. My fingers are clumsy around the chalk, but it gets easier. Some days I may be someday I may be able to read mother the letters she gets from her relatives in England. After the lesson, Elizabeth is waiting for me. I show her my new father's gift. He made me a knicker box. Elizabeth and I take turns shooting. We keep score with scratches in the sand. Today my marbles go through the arches more truly. Hers bounces back to her. I am winning, but the sun is beginning to lower and I must get back to my chores. I feed the fire to heat the porridge again and milk the goats once more. The big brown goat is troublesome. The more I push, the more she kicks. I will have a mark to show from her tomorrow. As I return from milking, my new father is coming home. He has news of the ship. It carries visitors to our village. There is much talk about where to lodge them and how to portion out the stores. After we have eaten, my new father quizzes me on my verses. 
I have been learning this one by heart since last Sabbath. It has words to turn my tongue into knots. This evening, Father is pleased with my learning. He hugs me with pride. Mother calls for me. We set off for the spring to fetch water for tomorrow. We look out to the sea and see the ship. Mother will have letters and a bolt of new cloth tomorrow. Now there is time for quiet conversations. Mother speaks first. She asks how, I'm how I am liking my new father. I can truthfully say that I am becoming fond of him. It has, been my, it has been many months since I have seen Mother seem so happy. The air gets chill as we fill our buckets. It is getting towards sundown. The village is quiet as we turn home. Father and Mother talk in the candlelight. I bid them good night. I get my bedding ready and put my overgarments in the chest. Though I am almost grown, I tell the day's events to my poppet. I tell her about the ship in the harbor, <clears throat> winning knickers from Elizabeth and my dream. And best of all, I tell her of my new father's pride in my learning. It has been a fine day. I say my prayers and thank God for his bounty.